Hey guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new reading vlog. So it has been a while since I've done one of these. Um, don't mind, my hair's wet, it's currently drying. But I wanted to film this now rather than wait for another three hours for this fucking thing to dry. So here we are. It is currently the 29th of August. It is nearly the end of the month. We're getting close. I've been in a massive reading slump. Like I have not read anything. Um, I've picked up two or three books, two or three, four, I don't know how many books at this point. There is like one ebook that I was like reading every now and then. Like I'd read like 10 ebook pages every now and then. But then I also lost interest in it. And I don't know if that was the reading slump or just the book. I have no idea. I started an audiobook today. Uh, it is a reread because I want to finish the series. But I did start an audiobook today. So does that mean I'm out of my reading slump? No, but we're gonna start a reading vlog to hopefully encourage me to actually, you know, fucking read something. But it is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And I am like, I don't know how long in it because fucking Audible still doesn't have a percentage. Can you see the little tiny bit of orange? I am, I am that far through. <laughs> Was that helpful at all? Probably not. I do have like two books here that I have started. <laughs> Possum is running across our roof right now. That just sounds like possums are fighting on my roof right now, and my dog hates possums, and that's the neighbor's dog as well. Yay. Um, so firstly is this one. This is what I was reading when I kind of like fell into a reading slump. This I don't think is the reason for it, but this is what I was reading. This is All That's Left in the World by Erica J. Brown, and I got uh, 106 pages into that one. And then I recently received in the mail and I'll show you guys this one as well. But um, I did start it the day I received it because I'm like, I'm really keen for it. So I was like, maybe if I like just start it right now, I might, you know, break the reading slump. Didn't happen. But that is Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin. I read Nature of Witches last year and it was like one of my favorite books. It was incredible, loved it so much. So I'm 18 pages into this one. But also this is stunning. For one, like the book itself is just stunning and it's the soft touch cover. But also, look at that naked hardcover. Like, oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, so I hoped that would get me out of a reading slump. Um, oops, just coming out of its just here. Uh, clearly, it did not. I have them both here, and I even took them with me. Like, I was away on the weekend, and even like took them with me because I'm like, maybe when I'm sitting in the motel and I'm bored. Um, Nope, it didn't happen. While I was in the motel though, I did read some of the book that I was kind of reading, but kind of have DNF'd, which is Revenge by Danny Hoots, which is the first book in the City of Klaus series. Ka Kaos? Case? Chaos? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, I don't know what to do with that. I'm 28% through it, but yeah, because I wasn't really feeling that, I decided, hey, I'm gonna pick up a thriller because mystery thrillers are usually like the things that get you out of reading slumps well it gets me out of reading slumps usually so i picked up see all the stars by kit frick because the last book i read by kit frick i killed zoe spanos i absolutely loved that book so much so i started reading that but then i fell asleep and i only got two percent through but anyways so let's talk about phone cases because i recently got a new phone i got the um this is one of them actually i got the iphone 13 pro max so i had to get some new phone cases and i went a tiny bit crazy on Redbubble because there's the one that's on my phone plus all of these. So I've left them in their like little protective cases. I don't really know why. I just kind of did. So firstly is this one. Um, I was looking at other Scooby-Doo cases and this one come up and I was like, I need that. I need that so bad. It says, who's your mummy? Then if you don't get that reference, what are you doing? I showed that to my best mates when we went to, a, went to the pub last and um, one of them got it. One of them did not. Her boyfriend did though. So this one is one I had for my old phone. It is my animals. I'll try and remember the artist that I paid like this commission for the digital art for. Um, and I'll link it down below. Like it's only available for me to purchase, but I ordered it through Redbubble. Because their quality is better than some of the places you can get custom cases and their prices are better. You just upload it and then leave it as private. Then I got this one, which I'm a little bit annoyed about because it's very dark. And usually like I get the the snap cases rather than the um, rubber, rather the silicone cases, because the colors are usually better. But this one, like you have to put a light on it to really see what it says. Um, but this is from Lucifer. It's gonna be hard to show with these lights. Um, it's Mazakine, and it's got words over the side of it that says um, worth comes from within bitches, but like you can barely see that side of things. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that one. I think the artist needs to, well not, this is the artist, right? Like you upload 
artwork, you have no idea how they're actually going to come out on every product, but I think they do need to be lightened a little bit. Then I got an Ellingham Academy one, you know, it's just the logo with like Minerva House written at the bottom, and that's from Truly Devious. Then I got this one here, which is just a quote, and it says, if I cannot bend heaven, I will raise hell, Lucifer Morningstar. I love Lucifer. I recently finished watching it, and I died. Um, then I got this one, which is like single taken waiting for Lucifer Morningstar. I'm not gonna wait for that one to focus, you get the idea. It's pretty basic. Then I got this one, which is the omnisexual pride flag in like a chevron. Then we got this one, which is Dean's like shirt and like you can see the necklace up the top. <laughs> this one says jerk, bitch, Egypt, arsebutt. Again, supernatural. Then, oh, this is the Scooby-Doo one that I saw. The reason I ended up on a tangent on Redbubble was that um, I saw a Scooby-Doo phone case from another company but they were like really expensive and they didn't have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I'm like, I'm gonna search Scooby-Doo cases on Redbubble. And I found this one and that's also where I found this one. This is another Supernatural one. It's like baby driving off into the sunset. I went ham. But anyway, so that is an extremely long clip at this point. So I'm gonna go. Hey guys, so it is now Wednesday. I have like a roaring fucking headache. So I'm going to bed very soon. It is eight o'clock, but I wanted to open my fairy leaf first. This is the August box, Tell Me Lies. It's the book only box, obviously. And this is the artwork that is on the back of the spoiler card. I see blue sprayed edges. Ooh, I have no idea what this is, but it is stunning. So firstly, we have the letter from the author that has this artwork. Oh, oh, it's ombre. Cause I just looked at that, I'm like, wasn't it blue before? Yes, it's an ombre. Okay, so it's got the same artwork as the author letter on the inside of the dust jacket. Does it have the same in the back? No, the back is different. Oh my God, hold on. That is what the artwork on the back looks like. I was about to say, we don't have artwork. The naked hardcover. I love this. I love when naked hardcovers have artwork. Like, you know, I showed you guys in the last clip. I love this. So it's like, it's just like the city scene. And it's got like sparkles. Um, the only thing that annoys me is it doesn't have the name of the book. Wow, wow, wow. It's not signed. It's gonna be the first time a fairy loop book has come not signed. Okay. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just, I was surprised. I'm pretty sure it's not signed. I'm not missing anything? No. We have like a stunning city map. Um, but yeah, look at this cover. What is it even called? Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. I've not heard of this. And the back is stunning. Everything about it is stunning. Let's read the description, shall we? Because I have no idea what this is. There's always a print Sorry. There is always a price for defying destiny. Violet is a, okay, so that's her name. Violet is a prophet and a liar, influencing the royal court with her cleverly phrased and not always true divinations. Honesty is for suckers like the oh so not charming Prince Cyrus, who plans to strip Violet of her official title once he's crowned at the end of the summer, unless Violet does something about it. Well, if she's lying, can you really blame him? Um, but when the king asks her to falsely prophesize Cyrus's love story for an upcoming ball, Violet awakens a dreaded curse, one that will end in either damnation or salvation for the kingdom, all depending on the prince's choice of future bride. Violet faces her own choice, seize control of her destiny, no matter the cost, or give in to the ill-fated attraction going between her and Cyrus. Of course there is. Violet's wits may protect her in the cutthroat court, but they can't change her fate, and as the boundary between hatred and love grows ever thinner with the prince, Violet must untangle a wicked web of deceit to save herself and the kingdom or doom them all. Oh, signed book plate. Did I miss something? Nope. Okay, so I am missing the signed book plate. But anyways, I will follow that up. So anyways, reading. I think I'm up to page like 130 or 140 of um, all that is left in the world. I read a little bit more last night. I did have to reread a chapter because I couldn't remember what I was up to. But also that chapter was 20 fucking pages. So I read like 50 pages, but I only made like 30 pages progress. And I'm also probably like 65, 70%. 
um, through the inheritance games. Anyways, I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I paused this reading vlog to do a 24 hour reading vlog. Well, a bit more than 24 hours, but I thought I'd just come on and let you guys know where I'm up to because I did finish all that's left in the world during that reading vlog. It was pretty good. It was a little bit slow at times, a little bit bland, but it wasn't too bad. I think I ended up writing it 3.5 stars, I think. So not bad. I also finished, I don't remember what I last updated you guys, but I was listening to The Inheritance Games. I finished that. This is prior to that 24 hour readathon, but um, I finished that. I finished the Hawthorne Legacy. And then during the readathon, I finished the final Gambit. So I have now picked up on audiobook See All the Stars by Kit Frick, which I was reading on ebook, but I decided to pick it up on audiobook. So I'm currently reading that one. I'm about probably 25% through. I'm not 100% sure. Audible has now gotten rid of the progress bar. Like there used to be that little yellow line there that told you where you're up to. No longer there. So the only way I have of knowing what I'm up to is looking at the chapters. So... You yeah, know, I think I'm about 25%. I have no fucking idea, actually. But yeah, after I finish that one, I'm also planning on reading All Eyes on Us, which is another one by Kit Frick. If I enjoy this one as much as I did, well, not even as much as, but like similarly to I did as um, I Killed Zoe Spanos, then I'll probably pick up the third one. If not, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, I'm going to sit down and read this one. This is volume one of Lore Olympus. This was originally a webcomic. Besides the fact it's got something to do with mythology, I don't know anything about it. So I'm going to go and do that. It is 4.37. Let's see how much I can get read and done by the end of tonight. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so it is now Saturday night. I was gonna film last night, but then uh, my SD card was not in my camera and I was already in bed. And I was not gonna go come out here and find it. But, so I got something in the mail yesterday that I wanted to show you guys. So I bought this off Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's a pack of like Harry Potter postcards that came in Litjoy. I got them like for 10 bucks, so. I thought I'd show you them, but they're very cute. Most of them are themed around the classes, but first we have charms. Potions, uh, divination, and defense against the dark arts. Then there's this one here, which you'd think would have homology written on it like the other ones do, but it doesn't. So we have that one. Um, and then there is this one of like the grand staircase and then of the pixies playing in the potion. I thought they were cute, so I'll add them to my print wall, which actually put some more up today. Um, I put all these ones here up and these ones here because I've run out of space on the door. Well, haven't necessarily run out of space on the door. Like I could go further down. I've gotten to like, you know, here-ish. You can't see it behind this chair. So it's kind of pointless. Even like the bottom like two rows-ish, you can't really see. So currently reading, I am still reading Wild as a Witch. Um, I'm reading it right now. I'm now up to page 56. I just have some um, garlic bread I'm about to put in the oven and then I'm gonna sit down and eat that and then probably go sit in bed and read this. It is currently 10 o'clock, but I ate dinner at like 
it's fucking 5.36, so I am freaking starving. So yeah, I'm having a, like, a late night snack of garlic bread. <laughs> As for audiobook, I did finish... Did I even tell you guys I was listening to it? I can't remember. No, I don't think I have. So... I was listening to See All the Stars by Kit Frick, which I ended up DNFing. I have got like probably 40% through it and I was honestly so bored. And then I started People Like Us by Dana or Dana Melly. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. And I read that one in its entirety. Didn't DNF that one. Um, but yeah, I finished that one. Uh, it was pretty good. Like I probably rated it 3.5 stars. Like it wasn't bad. And then I started Scribed as Playing Up. So I only actually read like maybe one percent of this i'm still alive isn't it what's called i can't find it but yeah there's something going on with scribed like the main profile will not load at all like it just says there's a problem with your connection there's nothing wrong with my connection the saved list will load like you can load it and you can start listening to something but you start listening and then it stops playing audio it's not it doesn't pause it stops playing the audio. So it's actually still playing. So if you don't get back to your phone and like pause it straight away, you completely lost what the fuck you're up to. Um, and yeah, so I was trying to listen to that at work the other day and I got to the point where like, it did it like three or four times, like within like 15 seconds each, like it played for like 15 seconds and it stopped. And I got the shits with it and gave up. So yeah, I've only read 1% of that, but I do intend to read it. So I'm not really listening to anything right now. I think that's all I have to update. Oh, I reorganized my bookshelves today, which I showed you guys clips of, but I didn't actually film me doing it, but it was a long process. <laughs> so I actually ended up, because I never used to have books on the bottom shelf of my bookshelf because of my animals. It's not that they do anything to the books, but just them constantly like walking past gets cat hair everywhere. So the bottom shelf was always covered in cat hair, but... I finally got to a point where I just had to, like, I didn't have any more room. That was what I did today, but that took a long time. Like, I am absolutely bugging because I spent probably two or three hours this morning messing around with plants. I watered, I, you know, did some tidy up, chopped off some, like, dead leaves and old leaves and stuff, and then I planted out my propagations, and then I reorganized everything and tried to fit my propagations here, and put some moss poles on things, repotted a couple of things. I did all that. There was a plant market stall set up down at the creek, so we went and had a look at that with my best mate, and then went over to the show, which was on today, and then had to come home and then went back over to the show because I couldn't pick up my prize money at that time or whatever. Ended up winning $56 cash and two $30 gift cards for different things um, from my photography, so solid. And then I came home and finished reorganizing because I did start reorganizing, probably did about two hours of reorganizing my bookshelves before I left. And then it took me probably another two hours when I got home. I have done enough cleaning and tidying up today and rearranging shit today. I'm gonna eat my garlic bread and read a book and then go to bed.
Hey guys, so it is Sunday afternoon. I will be finishing out this reading vlog now and starting a new one for one next week. But I just finished dinner. I am gonna sit down and read for a little bit, but I'll include that in the next vlog. I didn't get everything off my to-do list ticked off, but it's fine. I did have a nap, so you know, priorities. Might still do one more thing on my to-do list, but I think I'm just gonna sit down and read. Emmy. That is an office chair, not your scratching post. So I did start listening to, what's it called? The Key to Fear by Kristen Cast, And I'm about probably 35% through it maybe, something along those lines. So far, I'm enjoying it. I honestly didn't know what it was about. I did download it on Audible ages ago, but because Scribed is still playing up, I literally just jumped on Audible today and I was like, what have I got already on my save list that I haven't listened to? And that was the first one that popped up, so I started listening to it. Yeah, so I didn't know what it was. It is a dystopian. Hopefully it picks up soon, but we will see. Did I update you guys on this? I can't remember, but I'm up to page 96 in Wild as the Witch. So I'm going to continue reading that one in a minute. That is it for this reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.